Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall be learning about a criteria which is used to express same groups up to isomorphisms in different ways. So, in uh, here, in some cases, we may have the direct product of the groups ZM and ZN. This is isomorphic to the uh, this group ZMN, right? So that means we are just multiplying these subscripts here. In some cases, both these groups, they are isomorphic. However, in some groups, they are not. So let's see uh, an example showing this thing. So suppose we have a group uh, Z2, right and we have a group z3 you know the z group z2 that means integers under addition modulo 2 contains two elements 0 and 1 and integers under uh, addition modulo 3 contains three elements 0 1 and 2 now using these two groups we are first of all creating a direct uh, product of these two groups which contains six elements right 2 into 3 and the elements would be 0 into 0 then 0 comma 1 then 0 comma 2 right these three elements then we would have 1 comma 0 then 1 comma 1 and then 1 comma 2 right these three elements so for these six elements here we are having this uh, isomorphic uh, isomorphic group right this group is we are saying it is cyclic group with generator 1 comma 1 how let me show you if you take because our group here is addition modulo so when we take uh, when we multiply it by 1 so that means we are adding 1 comma 1 to itself only one time so we are just having this number when we have 1 comma 1 added to itself so 2 into this means this plus this right so it would give us 2 and 2 right and but we have to take this multiplication because in the first group we have to apply the group operation of this one so that would be mod 2 and in the second one we have to apply the group operation of the second group which is mod 3 so we will take 2 mod 2 and 2 mod 3 here 2 mod 2 is obviously 0 and 2 mod 3 is obviously 2 so you see in a similar manner we will calculate all of these elements 3 into this element 4 into this element 5 into this element 6 into this element so here you see 3 into this element is 3 mod 2 3 mod 3 3 mod 2 is 1 3 mod 3 is 0 right you know the mod calculations then 4 into 1 1 that would be 4 mod 2 and 4 mod 3 when you divide 4 by 2 you would have 0 as the remainder so here the answer is 0 and as in a similar manner when you divide this 4 by 3 right so you would have 1 as the remainder so you would write 1 here in a similar manner you can calculate this and this so you see we have 0 0 here which is what which is the identity of the group z2 this is the identity of in fact this direct product z2 plus z3 right under addition this is the identity so you see when we multiply the element 1 comma 1 with 6 we have this identity so that means this element 1 comma 1 is the uh, generator and uh, why it is generator because it generates all the elements you see 1 comma 1 is generated from it 0 comma 2 is generated from it 1 comma 0 is generated from it right 0 comma 1 is generated from this 1 comma 2 is generated from this and 0 comma 0 is generated from this one so that means we have all the elements of this group which are generated by the element 1 comma 1 and moreover the order of this element is 6 so that means here in this group we have uh, an, a generator which ha is having order 6 so that means because this is a cyclic group so therefore the order of the generator which is 1 comma 1 it is 6 so therefore it is also equal to the order of the group itself so that means this group is isomorphic to some group which is having order 6 so therefore we have this isomorphism here in this case However, if we take this group uh, Z4, this Z4 is not isomorphic to Z, the direct product of these two groups Z2 with Z2. You know Z2 contains two elements 0 and 1. So therefore, their direct product would be 0, 0, right? Because we are to take all the elements from these two sets. So we will take 0 with 0 first, then 0 with 1 then 1 with 0 and then 1 with 1 so we have all these four elements now 
here in this direct product we wanted to see if there is any element uh, which is the generator here such that it is having order of 4 why because we wanted to check that this group is isomorphic to this group or not the order of this group is you know it is 4 right so we wanted to check whether we have some generator here which has order 4 or not so let's see that thing so for that what we are going to check we are going to check the order of each of the elements here if any one of the element has order 4 then we would say this is isomorphic to z4 however in this case that is not the case we do not have the order as 4 of for any element for example for the element 0 we have 1 as the order for all three elements for the all all three remaining elements we have the order as 2 why because again using the same methodology for this element you see when we have when we uh, add it twice we have the element as 0 comma 0 and here also you see for this element when we add it twice we have 0 comma 0 which is the identity right similarly for this element also we have 0 comma 0 when we add it twice so that means the order for each of these elements is 2 and hence it, it does not have any element which is having order 4 and hence they are not isomorphic to each other so therefore in some cases this direct product is isomorphic to this group and in some cases it is not so what is the criteria here which suggest that uh, they these groups are isomorphic so we have a criteria which suggests this thing so we are saying this group in general would be isomorphic to this group whenever the gcd of these elements is equal to one whenever they are relatively prime to each other so you can notice here that here the number two and two they are not relatively prime to each other because their gcd is equal to two right in uh, and this is not equal to 1. Similarly here in this case if you check the GCD of 2 with 3 they are relatively prime to each other so their GCD is 1 so therefore they are isomorphic to each other so this follows from this uh, criteria here it says that if we have the product of n1 n2 up to nk as written as m then z of m is isomorphic to this direct product if and only if the numbers n i and n j they are relatively prime to each other right whenever i is not equal to j okay so uh, using this result we are also able to express different groups as uh, into the product uh, into the direct products of different groups for example we have this direct product consisting of z2 z2 z3 and z5 now you can see this 2 and this 3 they are relatively prime to each other so we may club these two groups together by writing it as z6 where what how is 6 obtained 6 is obtained by multiplying 2 with 3 right in a similar manner uh, here you can see this 5 and this 6 and this 5 they are relatively prime to each other so we can club these two groups together to write it as z30 right so this is one way by which we can express this uh, direct product another way is we are taking the same expression here right again what we are doing we are because 2 and 3 they are relatively prime so we are clubbing them into z6 according to the result above and again we are what we are doing we are interchanging these two because uh, there uh, the order of writing z2 and z6 does not matter here right so this thing is isomorphic to this thing same thing and here because you can see this 2 and 5 they are relatively prime to each other so we may club both of them together in order to write it as z10 so you see because this group and this group is the same and this is isomorphic to this one and this is isomorphic to this one hence both of them they are also isomorphic to each other so therefore this group is isomorphic to this however if you note that if you see if you take this group like this then this is not equal to z60 why because the, it is because the gcd of 2 and 30 right the gcd of 2 and 30 that is not equal to 1 it is equal to 2 so therefore we may not able to write the direct product of z2 with z30 as equal to z60 so i hope you understood this result well well that is it for this video thank you for watching